Hello and welcome to the tutorial video on how to use Freeform in Precision IQ version 13.40 or above. To begin, we're going to go ahead and enter the run screen. In this case, we're actually starting with a blank field that doesn't have any boundaries or guidance lines within that. Freeform is going to be found under our guidance line option in the top right corner, and it's going to be under Freeform Guidance, that drop down. To get into freeform guidance, we have to first enable that drop down. And it gives us two options. We have freeform AB or freeform curve. Now keep in mind that when we're actively inside freeform guidance, we cannot swap back to traditional guidance lines like things like AB or A plus or pivot. We have to actually disable freeform guidance and then we will get those traditional options back in our queue. So because of that, We've added a freeform AB guidance line type. Works very similar to what you would see with an AB, AB guidance line type. So we're just gonna tap on that. And just as with traditional AB, we're gonna set our A line. We're gonna drive a short distance and it's gonna give us the option to set the B line or the B point. So we'll set our B. Now say for instance, we, we jump the gun on that one and pressed set B too quickly, we can actually reset it by tapping on set B point again. And we can save that and then we can actively steer to that guidance line. So this is really nice for when you're using freeform but you still need some straight A B lines inside your field. You'll see if I go diagonally across these, it's going to populate an A B line for every um, implement width that I have across my field here. The second option that we're going to have is the freeform curve line. So I'm gonna tap on the freeform curve line and it's gonna give us three drop downs on how to record this line. There is manual, well engaged, and with coverage. Manual is just as it states. As we hit the record button, it will start recording the line. When we hit stop recording, it's going to stop recording that line. So let me demonstrate that for you here, even while we have our AB freeform guidance line type activated. So I'm gonna record, and you'll see once again a, a dashed line following the center of our vehicle, and we are recording a freeform curve line type. The other thing I wanna point out and mention on this feature is that U-turn button right below the stop sign there. What that is, is when that's activated, it's going to decipher when we are just curving along the guided path versus when we are actually creating a U-turn and going down towards the next path. And Precision IQ will actually clip out that turn portion and not include that within our line for the next path. So for instance, if I'm at the end of my run here, I'm going to flip a U-turn. We have that feature activated. When I get to a certain portion within that turn, it's going to notice that that was a very sharp angle and it's going to split that off and create my line for me. And now I can actually actively guide on that second pass. Notice once again, we're still recording because I'm in the manual option. I never hit the stop record button. If we disable that U-turn feature, then we would actually have to go in and hit stop recording and resume recording every time we wanted to stop and resume recording on turns, for instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. I wanna show you the next option, which is well engaged. And so I'm gonna turn around and, and get on my next pass. I just created this pass as I was manually recording. We're going to move down and auto steer on it, and it should record a new line for us to, in this case, to the right of us. So there's our line. We're going to grab onto that and steer. You'll notice as soon as I hit the auto steer button, it started to create a recording dashed line. So as we're driving on this current line, we're also recording a line or a pass for the next line. Now keep in mind, if I would stop auto steering, if I would manually take over, my recording is going to stop. So let me show you that. If I manually take over, that manual steering override has taken over and we are no longer recording. 
The final option is with coverage. So anytime we are recording coverage, be it manually or with an implement switch, it will be recording our line for us. So notice in this one, I'm gonna get back on our um, next line here. I've engaged it, but it's not recording. As soon as I manually hit the record coverage button, it's going to start recording a line for us. And so this will be used on our next pass as we move over. Once again, with all these features, that auto U-turn button can be disabled or enabled. The last thing I wanna point out is in the top right corner, we see a new icon between the coverage and the steering icons. And that's showing that we are actively recording coverage right now for Freeform. So once again, if I disable steering, in this case, it's still gonna keep recording because we have coverage turned on and we're recording while we're engaged on coverage. However, if I turn coverage off, that stops our recording and we now can move on to our next line. Finally, the last thing I wanna mention is, once again, Freeform is going to be separate from any other traditional guidance line type. If we wanna go back to a traditional guidance line, we actually will have to disengage off the Freeform line, disable Freeform options in general, and then we're free to go ahead and create any sort of guidance lines that we need to, or use a swapper tool to move between those lines. One last point, the swapper tool, is separate for Freeform as traditional guidance lines. When you have Freeform activated, the swapper tool will move between those Freeform lines. When you have Freeform disabled, it will move between your traditional guidance lines. So the last thing I would like to demonstrate is the swapper tool. As we are engaged inside Freeform, we can swap between curve Freeform lines and AB Freeform lines. So if you remember earlier, I created that AB Freeform line. If I hit the swapper tool, it's going to swap back to those AB freeform lines. You'll see that red line that just popped up. Once again, I can keep on toggling between those two. Now I'm back on the curved line. That swapper tool is separate from traditional guidance lines. To get back to our traditional guidance line swapping, we have to disable freeform and then the swapper tool will work as it previously has.